What I want to know is how has climate change impacted your community so far? Um, the weather pattern has changed a lot, especially over the last five, ten years, like in a short time, changed dramatically. And so the ice conditions are completely different. Even the snow is a little bit different. And even a couple years ago, our And a few years ago, or like 10 years ago, 12 years ago, would you say there was no dangerous spots on the ice? Like, oh yeah, there was dangerous spots on the ice, but you could tell, or like you could tell easily, just the way the ice looks, the way the snow looks, and now it's different. Like it's harder to predict. You have to be careful everywhere you go. But you know, you know the pattern of where the dangers are all the time. salinity being a lot less than it used to be for the ice and glaciers and such. It's just not as safe. And how is that affecting your community? Have people like are worried about how they're going to hunt and supply food for their families? There's some worry like we go later and like there's longer pauses of getting in the water or getting on the ice and that affects us like we want the country food, we need the country food, we need to eat the seal, the whale, the wars, the bears, we need to get that in our body and so when it's delayed you need to get hunger for it. And sometimes it's frustrating. Now, for hunting for real food compared to shopping at grocery stores, do people hate shopping at the stores? Would they prefer natural foods? At home, yes, because the cost is 200% price change at home, right? So, for instance, your one liter orange juice is what, 160, 170, uh -huh. whereas it's like $16. You know? and so everything up there is shipped or flown up, so it's way more expensive, and you can't afford it, right? Even if we have good jobs, but also, even that, we prefer the country food, like what we hunt, because it's pure, and fresh, and tasty. So have you noticed any drastic changes happening? Like you've mentioned the ice, is there a disappearing wildlife or is there anything that 10 years ago you noticed was okay and now it's like this is starting to become an issue? Yeah, like uh, we're worried about the water warming up because you could, you could hear from people that are experts that the degree of the water is changing. So what is your community's number one concern about climate change? Is it the food? Is it the water? I think everything is tied together, like, but ice is our main source because it takes us long distances, provides us with the food we want, the food, what we love takes us to places we can't go to in the summer. So do you think there's enough being done about climate change? I think, I think it's coming together. I think, it's, I think people are more understanding of the importance of climate change and what we have to do. Everywhere I turn, big companies or organizations are talking what it's going to take if we work together. Like anything, like my coach back in the day, even now, like 
or my ancestors, how they survived is as a community. Like they worked together, they shared everything, they used, reused everything. They, and if and if there was a scarce time and two families have to get together to make a community so that they survive, they will marry each other. Without working together, we're nothing. On a scale of one to ten, how much has your community suffered from climate change so far? Uh, I don't know if there's real suffering, but more challenges. More challenges. Maybe five. Really? So halfway mark? Wow. So as a community, you guys have hope and you know you guys will protect your community from this climate change. You guys are going to come together and work as a team? I wish we could. I hope we could. But that's the ultimate goal.